Welcome back to the channel, everybody. You might notice things look a little different here. I have some gloves on. We got some paper down. And well, usually when that happens, it's because we got something toxic in the mail. And uh, I love some dangerous rocks and minerals. Not fake dangerous, legit dangerous. So um, let's see what we have here in the mail and see if we can kind of look at it and identify it and go through some of these steps. Now, uh, I don't know if this person wants their their info out here on Main Street. Um, name's Richard. He sent me something. Um, well, we'll have to take a look at this, huh? So um, before we kind of get into this, you know, if you're a viewer here of the channel, you probably know that I am very partial to my volcanic rocks, right? Uh, basalts, that igneous extrusive rock um i like it that's my thing i also really like dangerous minerals and uh generally the aspect of a dangerous mineral is going to be uh, radiation exposure or uh is crumbly and and toxic and the dust and the particles that's why i have the paper down so that um if this thing is dusty i can just kind of ball up my paper once i get it in a jar and we can we can just go from there. Easy cleanup, right? Easy cleanup. Wow. Let's uh let's ditch this and look at what we have. Okay. Um so this is uh Orpiment. Orpiment, that's what it says. My initial impression. Is that that certainly looks like it could be that for sure. Um, source unknown. Probably purchased at a rock shop. Well, let's get this thing out of the bag. And we can talk about this and we can do some examination of it up close. And, uh, well, you can see that right there. And I'll, uh, I'll roll some high quality photos in of this um, so we can kind of really really see it. So, um, Orpiment. It is what happens when uh, Realgar is like hydrothermically altered. So think about, think about, you know, those photos of Yellowstone National Park, like all the, all the bubbling, what do you call it? The bubbling thermal lakes and all of that. Well, uh, that stuff can accumulate on other surfaces. So if you had arsenic, and it's boiling, and that vapor is landing on the inside of like a cavern type situation, well, you can get this. Um, I think that's what we have here. We're going to have to do some real investigating, but that yellow, that red, the red being the realgar, and the yellow being the orpiment. Um, let's look at this thing up close. I'll grab the loop. I'm going to grab my... my uh, camera and we'll take some photos of this and i'll roll those in here um so uh you know it's a sulfide mineral it's hydrothermically altered you know it's going to be in veins hot springs things like that very soft like so soft that i wouldn't be able to actually test this it's like at one and a half a two um the crystal formation it comes in a bunch of different types now i'm not I've never seen anything that has actually said in any way what causes some of these different crystal formations of things that are uh, hydrothermically altered. But, um, you know, it can be that like foliated, which, I, you know, we have some foliation here. It can be betroidal. It can be granular. It has a bunch of different characters. I don't know if there's like a nice list or chart that kind of says what what's what um the luster matches it's kind of that resinous luster to it so i'm pretty sure that's what this this is um you know it's it's an interesting stuff because a lot of these things your um realgar uh cinnabar they were used for dyes historically like different medical purposes medical medical purposes um 
and yeah, that. So um, let's, you know, one of the things that I like to do here is kind of also share with you how I come up with some of my, some of my answers to some of this stuff. And really, I, I re consistently refer back to these three books. We've got the Peterson Guide, we got the uh, Audubon Society, and we got the Smithsonian. Now, why three books? There's a lot of crossover information going on here, right? So if we uh, flip through these and we just kind of look at some of the examples. Let's see, I bookmarked that. That's the text. Let's look at the plates. Um, here we go. So uh, that's what they're saying for it. All right. Yeah, I don't know if that's a great example, but that's the one photo in this book of that. And then in the Audubon guide, there's a number of different plates. Um, maybe there might be some of that. I mean, of course, that's like super magnified, so uh, not necessarily helpful. That's a little closer. That, that might be a little closer to what we have. And, uh, of course, there's information in here about these as well. That is definitely uh, a better representation, I think. Um, so we're kind of in the right ballpark with just that. And then lastly, let's look at the Smithsonian one. And there's, there's that. This might be, um, you know... Not the best example of these these two uh, minerals, but uh, you know it talks about the different formation. I like this book. This is kind of like my my initial uh, investigation tool. So let me grab another pair of gloves. A glove. Gloves are expensive nowadays. You know that they're not not cheap. But um, I think what is going to happen is I have a specimen jar. I like these. I buy these in bulk on eBay or Amazon, whoever happens to be cheaper that day when I need it. And uh, it'll just go in there and um, I will label it and we will have a nice home for uh, for this mineral. Um, I get it. You know, I've had a number of people contact me uh, wanting to see if I want some of their more toxic minerals. They have kids, things like that. I'm happy to take them in, give them a good home. Usually it's a rarity. Um, but uh, if they're out there, uh, go ahead and let me know if you have something uh, truly toxic or radioactive and you're looking to, you know, rehome it. This guy, this guy right here. <laughs> so um, with that said, uh, thanks for coming by, looking at this with me. I hope you enjoyed this. You know, um, I do enjoy sharing with you the stuff that comes into the shop here. And uh, maybe I can pass along a little bit of information. So uh, take care. Thank you so much for watching my entire video. If you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel and you want to support the content even further, you can do so by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. The membership comes with a growing library of exclusive videos and just great other extra content. So I'll just follow the links down below and I will see you on the next video.